Unit 3 is on populations. Lesson 1 will be on case selected and or selected species. Case selected species are the larger ones. They have very few offspring because they don't reproduce a lot. So when they do, they take care of their offspring. They expend a lot of energy into making the offspring. So there's going to also be large offspring. They are more likely to provide care for that offspring as it grows up. And they re or they don't reach sexual maturity until after many years of youth and parental care. They, um, they do reproduce more than once in their lifetime. And also because, you know, they are larger, they require more stuff. They have more competition for resources in their habitat. Some example might be bisons, elephants, bears, gorillas, and you. We are all case selected species. Our selected species, on the other hand, are very small. They have a lot of offspring. They don't invest a lot of energy into the, each of those offspring. The offspring themselves are very small, um, mature really quickly. So they reach sexual maturity, may reproduce only once, and they just have lots and lots of babies, and that's it. They have very short lifespans. Um, and because they don't really require a whole bunch, and, you know, they can adapt really quickly, or their population can adapt really quickly, they don't see as much competition for resources. Examples might be cockroaches or other bugs, frogs, flowers, trees, um, oysters, mice, anything small, not to have the babies. All right, so we see that uh, a case selected species is determined by the carrying capacity. So they grow exponentially until they hit a point where that habitat can't sustain them anymore. Whereas our selected species are more dominated by their growth rate. So they tend to grow really, really quickly, and then they overshoot their carrying capacity and then die really quickly, and then up and forth and up and forth and up and, up and back, up and back and forth. There we go. It's been a long day. Biotic potential is the maximum reproductive rate of a population in ideal conditions. So that's like, if they can reproduce, it's as many babies as possibly can. Um, R, of course, is much higher than K because they can have a lot more offspring than, than elephants can. Also, how adorable is this picture? Baby elephants are the best. But biotic potential is an exponential growth curve. So it's just like a, like a J. Whereas once competition begins to limit that growth, we see a logistic curve. So once that population experiences any sort of environmental resistance, whether it's the amount of food, amount of water, the amount of space, the amount of mates, whatever that is, there's some point where that environment can't sustain that population anymore. That's when it hits carrying capacity, and that's where we see a logistic or S-shaped curve. Um, not everything is either an R or K. It exists more on a spectrum. So they can be like a really, really R species, or they can be a really, really K species. They can be kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, so it's not, you know, either or. And also, uh, there are certain species that might be more of an R with certain conditions, if uh, conditions are awesome, or they might be more of a K if, species, or if the conditions are not as awesome. So I can go back and forth. Uh, case selected species are also more typically adversely affected by invasive species than our selected species, versus our selected species are much more likely to be the invasive species because they are the ones that can reproduce really quickly. They don't require a lot of resources, so they can adapt to pretty much anything. Um, and because they reproduce really quickly and they have a lot of offspring, they can just completely take over, like zebra mussels or huge pain in the butt. And they'll come up a lot this year. All right, now as a summary, identify the differences in K and R selected species.